Those beats are sick. What is that song? I don't know. That was badass. I mean, I love our music selection, but damn, that was... <laughs> love it. All right, so Gonzi uh, taking an MC. I wouldn't call it a crazy upset, but I would call it um, a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, you know, I, I, I thought MC uh, had a decent chance. Well, actually, you know what? Well, I, th I think the real surprise is actually how uh, poorly MC played, you know? Yeah, he messed up a bit, man. Uh, well, that's what can happen when two great players play each other. We'll have to see, though, who gets out of this group, Supernova or Ganji. The winner will advance to the round of 16. The loser will await MC versus Sniper. Who do you think takes this, Supernova or Ganji? I actually think Ganji takes this. I think, well, judging from how Ganji played, I think we saw Supernova make some mistakes, even though he played very well. Mm. Maybe, I mean, he really I didn't like Supernova's mistakes. play today that much. I, I think Ganji played very well, though, so I'm going to go with Ganji taking this one. I think it's a fair prediction. Yeah, I think their TVT is pretty similar in level. Uh, historically, I've liked Supernova's just slightly more, but... Well, Supernova, I don't think of TVT as much as I think of his TVZ sometimes, or his yeah. TVP. Oh, certainly, yeah. Definitely the other two matches I think of more with him. Let's do it, Tasis. All right, nerds, get ready. It's time for... Ah, I messed it up. It's time to see who's going to move on between these two and who's going to stay in this group and try to fight for it here in the GSL Code S. On to our game in the top right starting location we have our Terran player one of two he is complexity Kanzi and he's been playing really well uh, today really really well did yeah. taking a big breath of air make sure he's focused uh, going into this because he's up against this guy who was very solid uh, another one of these veterans here in the GSL Coda, a solid Terran. His ID is... Supernova. That's gas before um, barracks that he's doing right now. Yeah, that certainly is. We're going to see Banshee with Cloak. Uh, you know what? He definitely could. I, I think that that is absolutely... He actually... Supernova is one of the most aggressive... Uh, Supernova mechs are toast is hard. Only when he mechs, guys. Only when he mechs. That's the only type of thing I'm into with I'm him. I'm so excited to see these players going mech, guys. I just love mechs. Uh, it's true, man. <laughs> and I got to say, a Supernova does like his siege tanks. And he does. He, he's one of the most aggressive TVTers I've ever seen. He actually uh, will just attack you nonstop with siege tanks. Now, uh, what was that? Uh, who did this? What? I think it was alive. We saw this build. We never saw it again, but I was really intrigued by it. It was the uh, auto builder. It's the uh, yeah, the auto tour garage. Alive, yeah. It was alive. I love that. Yeah. And that the was funny thing is, cool. we just never saw it again. Yeah, it was. It just it, like came, and I was like, "Well, that's brilliant." And then it just was never used again, including by alive. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Okay." Like he's like, "Yeah, I don't know, man." Uh, you know, those one base builds. You gotta be careful how often you use them. And stuff. Right, but I'm just so surprised that we we never saw anybody do it ever again. Normally you see like one nifty build and I'm like, okay, and then it becomes trendy or sure. the guy will pull it out again in a crucial moment, but no, it just went away some I wonder if we maybe we'll see, see it this time. Oh wow. That is such a weird statistic. Some of these stats we have are really good, and then some are like Wow. Freak me out. He's like on sunny days, Supernova always wins. <laughs> on full moons, Gonzi <laughs> always loses. I'm like, what do we Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. This is like actually it's not how a full the human, moon tonight, though. This is how the human race like used uh, like false information or like actually correct information to create like false conclusions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I saw this uh, really interesting study they did where uh, they had a uh, a button that a pigeon could peck at. Yeah. And it would randomly uh, 
give uh, food to the pigeon, like completely random. So sometimes yeah. the pigeon would have to hit it like once, sometimes five times. But the pigeon actually developed a pattern yeah. that it was learning off the button randomly. So the pigeon was actually developing this complex dance based off its head movements and stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. Is that actually insane? Oh my god. That was crazy. I saw this in this documentary and I was like, whoa. So basically the pigeon, it's like showing us how showing like, animals and, and humans as well can just like take randomness and try to like apply like oh my god. what they're doing. That like, pigeon is such a tool tasteless. What, what a sucker that you pigeon You know what? Was. That is the exact same Why pigeon. Why do we ask that pigeon what his horoscope is? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if, if you put that pigeon in one of those double blind placebo test it's <laughs> feeling the effects of that pill whether it's I getting know. the sugar pill or not it's taste. like i don't know I mean, when the medication it makes my hands cold and i'm, I'm like, like listen, listen, it's a pigeon. sugar pill listen here pigeon you don't know what you're doing listen talking pigeon you idiot <laughs> <laughs> you're a fool you're talking fool, pigeon. pigeon it's like the first pigeon that ever talks he's like i can talk and, I, and I don't even have lips okay I, like, I can say all sorts of stuff that normal pigeons can't but yeah you don't need lips man parrots can talk yeah but not well i talk better than parrots do you? That's right, parrot. You know what? I bet you there's a parrot in the history of the world that talked better than you. No. Well, where, where is it? Where is he casting right now? Well, he probably died, man. He so. probably didn't play Star if he didn't have thumbs. But I feel really bad making fun of that talking pigeon, yeah, though. That's or parrot. Whatever. Birds. Meh. Nah. <laughs> Only bird I care about is pirate bird. Yeah, he's probably right. dead right now because <laughs> he's missing a foot. So, okay, so. Ganji actually went three command center, three racks, no gas, and he's making missile turrets. He's making basically a missile turret ring against a cloaked Banshee Rush. This is going to be the most impotent attack, I think, from Supernova. This is I think this is actually going to do nothing. Yeah. Um, this is actually a crazy build by Ganji, man. I love that. He's actually literally made three turrets, and they're placed in such a way that this is going to be, as you said, an impotent attack. Yeah. Cloak is done. His second Banshee almost done as well. He is doing like nothing. What yeah, is, and I don't see him doing anything either. This is this is really strong by Ganji. I like this. I've never actually seen a Terran do quite this in a TVT. Totally cool. His ex his uh, economy is going to be absolutely out of control. Wow. All right. So uh, right wow. now, Supernova is switching into Tank Marine. Uh, he's still making Banshees as well. Yeah, sorry, G Ganji's looking so. So good right now. It is. Supernova, do, though, does find his way in. Yep, there was a hole, a chink in the armor there. Two turrets there, though. It's not going to be uh, very hard to kill that. Causing base. the uh, SCVs to evacuate is not considered enough of this you no. know, strategy to be worth it. Three SCVs killed so far, four now. Uh, but that Banshee's kind of stuck. He's not really going anywhere. He's just going to chill right there, in fact. So got five kills still. That's pretty reasonable. The supply oh is pretty even now. That Banshee will probably sit there until Viking comes out. <laughs> um, all right, so Ganji is finally taking up, but his economy is really good despite losing all those SCVs. He's up by 10 SCVs right now. He's already got 22 Marines, which is pretty strong. What do you think about uh, Supernova moving out right now? I feel like he, Supernova's probably better off uh, taking a third base or something. You, you know, know, like a hidden third base because he's so behind. I actually, he's going to have siege mode when he hits there, right? And he has two siege tanks there against Marines with zero upgrades. They have no combat shield and they have no stim. So actually, I feel like this is going to be hard for Ganji. He's going to have to pull SCVs. And, I mean, the Marines of Supernova are pretty garbage as well, but he's got those cloaked banshees in there. I like this. Is the answer to your question. All right. Good answer. And he's going to start pushing here. And normally when we see Terrans do this, they make a barracks and float it so they get some vision. But he does uh, have those cloaked banshees. So. Yeah, it's true, too. But the barracks actually oh. like, just doesn't die. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. I, we don't have a shot. He's going to lose the tech lab that has stim. Yeah, he is. And oh, down it goes. But he's going to lose a banshee. Will he lose a second banshee? A little bit sloppy there, but does keep it alive. And with this bunker coming up, Supernova's in a great spot. Oh my god, with no stim, man. That These Marines are everything. like so slow and bad without stim against this. Fat and ugly, it's just terrible. Oh, man. they just, they've lost everything, man. Nothing going for them. All right, so he's going to try to slip in here with his Banshee. This is a little bit dicey because he has to fly over all of the Marines in the game, and apparently that. Okay, no. Well, uh, during this, Supernova has taken his third base. And he continues to tech up, and he's going into Tank Marine from here. No, Gonzi's SCVs are not mining right now. Nice scan. Okay, I think, I think Gonzi's oh in God. so much trouble. Yeah, he's not just in these, so much these trouble. These SCVs are taking splash damage too, guys. Like, yeah, yeah. It, he's got to be so careful with how he repairs it. And he's just going to keep losing ground. 
And Supernova continues to repair. He's sending out even more units. He's got a backup bunker here. So I don't know why he's still desperately trying to save this one, um, since he's not mining. All right, well, I have to say this bunker uh, broke a record as far as siege tank hits in a game of StarCraft yeah. 2. You know, this is really rough. Even if he eventually holds us off with his own siege tanks and uh, Vikings to gain air superiority, look at that. eBay is going up for Supernova. His production is going to be much bigger. He already has three bases mining. Uh, Ganji is going to be playing from behind with Marine Tank against Marine Tank, which is never where you want to be. Oh, man. Well, you know, siege mode's not even done here. Yeah. Or Gonzi. So Gonzi just kind of has to take it for now. Um, and frankly, uh, if he breaks his bunker down, it looks like he's going to do that in the next few seconds here. Uh, he can actually get over to where the orbital is and he can actually avoid the high ground. He can actually even scan the high ground hell and just hit Gonzi's uh, units from there. And, well, if he just keeps moving these tanks forward and moves them more to the right so the sea tank can't hit from high ground. Uh, yeah, look at this. He actually just made him lift off anyways. I was going to say he can make him lift off, but already too late. That's been done. And Ganji is sitting on one base against three. He's contained. He has less supply. SCV count has plummeted. He's at 38 against 55 of Supernova. Well, these SCVs are just getting massacred. It's a huge execution over here of SCVs. Mm -hmm. Nothing they can do. Uh, this is one of those moments where um, if there was, a, if Ganji came back here, I would be blown away. Yeah, this is like an impossibly hard situation for him. It's a good siege though right there. He's gonna get two siege tanks. Alright, well yeah, you're right. He's gonna get these two siege tanks over here. Well the damage has been done. He can lose all these units up here and he's still Alright, he took out one with the Banshee. I yeah, I think Supernova should pack his bags and get out. Yeah, it's time. In fact he's salvaging that bunker. He's gonna get out of here. Oh, in the meantime, we do have a drop actually in the natural uh, of we're Supernova. Shot of, we need to get a shot of this drop here. Okay. <laughs> Does die off. All right. So how many uh, workers killed there? Four. Well, Ganji has killed four workers, but Supernova has killed 38. And guess what, guys? One of those numbers is bigger than the other. In fact, look at this this SCV count: 62 against 30. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty bad. And it's considering pretty that bad. there's a third orbital here for uh, Supernova, he has more mules too. Yeah. And he's gonna have one one. In the meantime, Ganji just has one zero. Gonzi's build was really good, but um, it was cool. Supernova really, you know, when the Banshee Rush failed, he's like, no, mm. I am actually going to attack in here and do damage or I'm going to lose this game. And he actually really bruised Gonzi that back there. Yeah, his unit composition was just right for it against these Marines with no upgrades. Completely unupgraded Marines against Siege Tanks. It is a sad sight to behold. Now, we do have a 50 supply lead for Supernova moving across the map right now. It's pretty big for a mere matchup, guys. Yeah. Uh, well, Stim is only about to finish for Ganji. We're Remember like when 15 he lost minutes that? into this oh, game and Stim yeah. only just now completes. That is very rough. Now, indeed. he's got this medevac here. I don't know if he should drop just yet because it looks like Ganji's going to be prepared, but the medevac can be like a. He can be used as a tool to keep uh, Ganji in his base. All right, he's dropping over here. Let's see how much damage this does. And looks like it will do a decent amount. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh, sneeze. All right. Off some mules. I sneezed a mule out there. It's landed. Up. Yuck. So. That's how powerful Tasis is, is boogers are mules. I sneeze mules, man. Six at a time. Yeah. I should have been playing Terran this whole time. I've been playing Protoss. What am I doing? <laughs> um, well, you can see Gonzi is sort of at a loss. He's, he's kind of, he moves out, then he's like, oh, well, I don't have a big army. And he moves back, and then he says, well, yeah, what is he Super, to do? Supernova's got another base. Like, mm -hmm. what do I do? And the, the truth is, Supernova is going to have to make a mistake if Gonzi's going to win this. He's going to have to catch uh, Gonzi. Uh, our Supernova with his pants down. All right, Stimmy, now this could be a moment if you can see Siege Tanks here. Uh, but once the Siege Tanks fire, yeah, everything dies. Yeah, this is uh, pretty rough, man. I mean, that was as good a fight as Ganji could have gotten Yeah, there. even the angle with the Marines behind the Siege Tanks. Yeah. That uh, was pretty good, but uh, still. Seriously, that I, he actually killed more than I thought he would. Uh, and there's still a 50 supply lead here. Yeah, yeah. GG. Okay, kind I'm of actually... An, kind of an anticlimactic ending uh, there, I, but I think Gonzi just looked at that and said, well, I am actually dead. Yeah. And, and I that's, respect that. That's actually really good, because I had this feeling that I was like, uh-oh, is he actually just going to sit here and make us spend 10 minutes to explain to you guys how dead he truly is? Uh, but no. That's the worst part if you're a caster. Sometimes when, people when do games that. Where I'm like, guys, listen, he really is dead. Yeah. He really... Uh, but anyways, Supernova taking game one. He actually looked a lot better that game, I thought, than in his, in his games against Sniper. Very strong play, despite that 
beautiful missile turret ring by Ganji, realizing, oh, wow, look at you with your, your three command centers. Aren't you fancy getting your gas so late? Bam, siege tanks. Yeah. But truly, and well, I, I think the real moment, too, was when he shot down the tech lab. Yeah. But still, oh, I'm like, yeah. oh, dude, you're dead. That was bad, man. Those Marines were never going to be worth anything. Ganji trying to hype himself up. He wants to get to that round of 16, Tasteless. He certainly does, Artosis. We're going to see if he can do better on the map. Antigua Shipyard. Supernova making that game look pretty easy. I was, you know, it's so funny because it started out and I was like, wow, he totally held that. Ganji's in such good shape. And then I actually watched that attack from Supernova and I thought, wow. And I'm like, he's good too. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. All right. What great players. Yes. Actually, it's true. What great players indeed. All right. Well, Gonzi could still do this. He's just going to have to step it up a little bit. Supernova definitely knew how to handle that belt. I think Supernova actually goes Banshees. Am I wrong about this in TBT more than almost any other Terran player? He goes a lot of Banshees I feel like TBT. he actually does it the most. I'll give you this one, Tasis. All right. I'll take this one. So, what is he going to do this time? Are we going to see more Banshees from Supernova? We could see them both go for uh, Command Center first. Yeah. It's pretty common on this map. Pretty hard to punish a guy who fast expands, especially in uh, TDT. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see some proxies, but we could too. Yeah, I don't think so, but you know, occasionally you do see that Marauder Proxy mixed in. And the Marauder Proxy is good. Very, very good. All right, guys. Let's get this going. And by the way, add us on Twitter. I am Call Me Tasteless, and this nerd is Artosis. Don't call me a nerd. I'm not a nerd. All right, so game number two. Who's going to win, Gonzi or Supernova? We're going to find out soon here at the best eSports tournament in the world at GOM TV.